how is it that we can look at efficiency in a way that helps us? Uh, what, what do we do with it? Yeah, I think the, the question is, what is efficiency serving? Is it, is it serving economic growth or is it serving or actually reducing our energy use? And uh, as much as we become more energy efficient over the decades, we still use more energy. And I think uh, an example that is kind of uh, uh, very real in people's lives these days is time. We find ourselves very hurried, do we not? And I always find it kind of ironic at the surface anyway that um, cultures like ours and China, or maybe China now, but Korea and Japan, have more time-saving equipment than mm -hmm. anywhere else on Earth but we're probably the fastest paced societies on the face of the earth. Absolutely. And uh, so the seeming paradox is solved when we realize that that time-saving equipment uh, often wasn't even designed as, let alone used as, time-saving equipment. It was used as uh, production increasing equipment. So that if some company gets uh, the ability to do things faster than their competitors, well, then that just raises the bar on where the competition level is. So we have to go faster and faster and faster. Right. And um, I think that's all tied into our um, paths going forward towards sustainability is we have to see that reality too. And uh, it reminds yeah, me of uh, with it. how email was supposed to be a time-saving thing. Mm. <laughs> but now email takes out a huge chunk of my day every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we maybe if, uh, communicate more efficiently per message, but the number of messages and the number of things we can do electronically these days is so overwhelmingly more vast than uh, what we used to do that it takes more time. Yeah, and with resources, it's kind mm -hmm. of the same way. We can be more efficient with our resources, but if we are always trying to do more than the next guy, then we're just gonna use more resources even as we get more efficient. Yeah, so it's that keeping up with the Joneses idea, and we might not do it as overtly, because that's become kind of passe or cliche, but we do it uh, kind of implicitly, that if we save energy and, say, money in one area of life, we'll put it towards some other area of life and end up using as much or more energy than we did before.